What's up guys, Gino here today, and we are on League of Legends. This is a bit of a how to play Zen Arena, and I was not there for the first blood, which could have been marvellous. Absolutely marvellous, but I wasn't there. Haha, <laughs> ignite for the kill. Ignite steel, ignite steel. Yes, so that was a bit hectic. As I was saying, welcome back to another League of Legends how to play. But not really how to play, because I mean I'm no expert at these champions. I just play them, maybe get some get some clips here and there, just have a bit of fun. But most of all, just show you guys some things that I do and how I play the champions, and maybe some ways I see other people play the champions. So it's not a strict guide or anything. Really. More, the more guidelines and tips and tricks. It's never really a how to play. But I uh, hope you guys are enjoying them. This is a bit of a, a bit of a Z episode, and well, let's jump into it. Here we go, we're into it. First of all, I just want to mention Zed's ult isn't just an engage; it's also an escape tool. If you look at that, easy in, easy out. You still have your shadow there to do the damage, which I did. The E at the end, long the ignite to finish Echo off easily. And here, roaming top, just to snowball the shatter word. Like he, Darius is low, so that's an easy ult. You, you. yes, we didn't even need to come back in. I ult out, take one turret here, which is nothing. Snowballing Yasuo easily up there. Absolutely no problem. Bit of a fight erupting here. So, you know, of course you want to take the kills on Zen. Anything, you know, anything you've learned by playing Zen. Heals are kills, and once you've got them, you're carrying. Echo did pretty good there, I'll give that to him. He almost done it, and Warwick flashes over. I'm like, no! Kate, where are you going? Ult him. Um, I already have a shadow out as well, I believe. Nope, shadow at the end, but I got EQ, Thunderlord procs, easily denying that. Dodging the Draven ult in style as well. Here, I don't really know what Vayne's doing. Tumbles back to me, I get exhausted, but that's already off by the time I've ulted, finished. Blade of the Rune King for the flash EQ. Easy, you use your activating items. So easy. And in this, in this season 6, pre-season, you'll see my Thunderlords doing a lot of damage pocking out. It is, it is a bit funny, I don't really know. I ult Velkoz, hoping to kill, but I had to pop out. But I see Echo coming into a queue. I don't know why I did that. Free turret hit, easy kill, but I'm not complaining. Because we're getting fed and we're killing. And again, the shadowing out gets stunned up. I believe Velkoz thinking Gragas has got the kill. And out comes a wild Echo from nowhere. So Velkoz does slip away here, but that's not, that's not too much of a big deal. Because we can play it out, play around, get some free damage on the Echo. Don't want to get hit by his Q because he can turn it. Now we've got all enough energy for all our abilities and Thunderlords. We shadow EQ, hit both Qs, get the final auto. So he doesn't, if he got his auto off after E, we would have died, but we got the auto off just before. And again, I don't really know what Echo is doing here. But we managed to do that. We've already got our ult shadow back there from before. So his ult doesn't really get him away under the tower. We did have to flash, but flash is there for a reason. If you notice in a lot of these clips, um, it's mainly based on ultimate. That's what Zed really thrives up on his ultimate. Again here, landed the sneaky Q to proc that ultimate once more and kill uh, Lee Sid. Then we always reactivate it afterwards or in between or whenever it's necessary to evade damage. Just like this clip here, perfectly set up. As Lily jumped in, I ult shadow out, deny her jump A damage, which could have killed me. I shadow back in, hoping to pick up the kill, but I don't sadly. But thankfully, here, Lee Sin and Blitzcrank secure it easily. Cassiopeia here. We get a free Q on her. We go to auto, see the ult's coming out. We uh, instantly ult, ult ourselves. We ult Cassiopeia, we don't ult ourselves, but we do ult ourselves. Anyway, besides the point, we dodged Cassiopeia ult and a beautiful kill. Here I messed up a bit, I was waiting for the push. I wanted to shadow EQ Nidley, but she jumped as I shadowed, so that completely backfired. Meaning I picked up the Darius, but then Vayne shows up with the exhaust. I can't quite pick up Nidley here. Vayne did sharp, I could have had a triple if I didn't mess up that. Again, I ult Warwick here, hoping I land two Qs on Draven as well to get this double kill. But. Shaco nobly, 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 does it is a noble sacrifice to pick up the kill and get the assist. 
vividly land spear here. I shadow, and as I'm coming away, I slow. The uh, the deer there, if you did notice, I flash the niddly jump again. And the deer again is another noble sacrifice for my life because I'm dead. And if you watch here closely, I Draven went to auto attack, then I ulted, denied his auto attack, and did all the damage. Uh, shadow out again from my ult. Q to get the kill, which I probably had anyway. And here I move out of the Echo Stun. See, he runs up there, so I shadow back, but didn't need it in the end. So Z, Z items really do help, just such as the Ghost Blade, which is been changed and beautiful. But he's he is the ultimate ultimate ninja, really. That's what Zed is. All you have to do is ult, and you're pretty much guaranteed to kill most of the time, if not more. In my eyes, Zed is the ultimate ninja. And here I was I was roaming top until I found a wild Nidalee. I mean, I'm two levels up on her. Just an easy kill, no, that's a no-brainer, really. So why not take it? I did commit Ignite, which I didn't need to, but it's a bit of a habit, you know. And here fights are up to the beautiful ult. Ult finding from Morgan allows me to ult Shadow to Velkoz and get the kill. That is the, the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, um, leave a like, rate, and comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.